After my first book on the Bhagavad Gita, I wrote a second book. The second book, I want to be the definitive book on the Bhagavad Gita, that it's the one book that explains it all. Probably the biggest aspect of the second book, Warrior Truth, is the exploration into consciousness. Because the Bhagavad Gita is arguably the highest level of consciousness. It's so inspiring, so positive, such a beautiful life message. I've read the Bhagavad Gita before and I found it really difficult to understand. Ted's books made it more understandable, brought the metaphors and the allegories into sharper focus and made them relatable to, to a Western mind. Ted's book is a, a little bit of a different take on consciousness and the Bhagavad Gita. It's lovely, it's wonderful. Somebody who hasn't read the Bhagavad Gita or that hasn't been practicing yoga in a long time would be able to comprehend all of the information that is in there. I've known Ted for a very long time. Ted's always been a wonderful person to go to for any wisdom or a listening ear when I needed help. Ted has taught me how to let things go, how to breathe through situations, how to be less attached to the outcomes. And as a result, I'm so much more serene. I'm so much happier. I'm so much more present in my daily life. Ted is a brilliant yoga teacher, and he taught this class that was just amazing. He wove all the philosophy into his teaching, and it was so impactful. I, I still think about that class, and it's been more than three years since I took that class. It was transformative. I teach yoga to serve, to have them have a good experience, to maybe speak to their hearts a little bit. So exciting to be able to shift somebody through my words, through my passion, through just my outlook on life to uh, affect some people's lives. And it's one of the most rewarding things there is to do.